Today we're gonna go over vocal mixing, vocal recording. Ethan was very kind enough to show, give us an unreleased song and gave me some dry vocals to work with. Um, uh, this is kind of the sample. It's fire. I would definitely recommend an FL Studio going to your audio settings and making sure that your buffer length is really low. Definitely recommend between five to eight on FL Studio for a really good low buffer size, enough to record vocals so there's no latency. And if it's still giving you latency, you got to go lower. And if if you're going lower and stuff is clicking and everything, things are breaking, that's when you know you got to start freezing some plugins. You got to start freezing some audio. If I was starting from right here and I wanted to record a vocal chain, basically what I would do is I would go pick in any insert I like say I like my first insert and over here I would put one of my mics so on my interface I have two mic inputs that are for uh, two mic pre's excuse me two, two mic pre's that are 48 volts I'm gonna I can use I choose either one or two the second one I use because it's my vocal mic so just for this example I'm gonna do mic line two right it's just um uh, just to hey, let me see here there you go. Now y'all can see the whole mixer screen like that. There we go. So I like to put in my input, making sure that I'm getting signal, yada, yada. Okay. Uh, for this one, I'm not going to really show this. I'm just going to show you guys what I will put as a tracking chain. Um, first thing I would do is definitely give it some dynamics. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do compression first. Now, um, um, there is speculations of doing EQ before compression, compression before EQ. Um, certain things for certain vibes like um i'm very about making sure that in the moment the singer can give the best performance they can so i can get the best take possible to manipulate so for me the compression is really what gives the artist that extra like um sustain or performance in their vocal in order to really shine and really deliver their lyrics okay so for here i'm just going to use a basic fruity compressor Okay, and check this out. This is where I would set my settings. Usually at the studio, I have a Tube Tech CL1B. You guys can look that up, um, and yeah, every all the engineers should definitely know what I'm talking about. It's the sauce. OP. Uh, but for here, I would show you guys the exact settings, what I would do, but FL version. So basically, I would usually put the, for the, um, I'm sorry, for the Tube Tech, it starts at a two to one. I would, I usually like a good three to four to one that's pretty good for me for vocals and then my threshold i would play around with this this is where you're gonna get um uh, some of like your taming and where the taming of the vocal will happen so usually i like anywhere between 15 negative 15 to negative 12 db of compression now these are just starting points guys just remember these are all starting points this is not like what the final vocal thing would be i would put this on then get some mic levels in order to test and then play around the compression, see which kind of flavor I like. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the attack for rapping, um, you definitely want a very short attack. I would definitely recommend 50 milliseconds, if not zero. I mean, it, it, if not zero, it's a great starting point. But usually I like to give a little bit of attack. Uh, for singers, you definitely want more of an attack. So you want to do like maybe around 300 milliseconds or 250 for a singer, someone R&B, or maybe someone who's doing like kind of like a Drake kind of vibe. But this guy, he's more rapping. He's spinning bars. So we're going to get him at 50 milliseconds of attack around there. And for the release, around the same. For a two tech, this is usually what it is. I usually have um, um, this attack usually around like the one or two o'clock. Or I mean, yeah, the one or two o'clock. And then usually the release... I will have more around like the more around like the three or three four or four o'clock era, and just so you guys know, I'm I'm thinking of this as a clock, so you know, twelve, one, two, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Um, it's just easier for that when you're engineering and you can just think of a clock instead of having to think about milliseconds of compression. It's just too much to think about. I just think of a clock, and then for this type of compression. I like the vintage compression flavor on FL. I like the vintage one. It sounds really good to me, but you know, the soft compression is really nice just for some dialogue. And here your gain is, your make of gain is where you're going to be getting your volume. So right here is where I would start, about negative 12 dB of threshold with a four to one ratio. 
5 DB of makeup gain, short attack, about a medium fast, medium fast release, and then some soft compression. This is really nice just to get a little bit of performance and a little bit of flavor. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an EQ. Now, you can always do a, um, a, just a parametric. The thing you want to do is you want to go into presets, and then you go into 20 and 18 kilohertz cut. Basically, I'm going to get rid of this cut and leave that open, this 18K cut, because I want to leave the high end open. I want a high end in my vocal. And I'm only using this just to cut the low end. So 30 hertz because is usually what I would use on some analog gear. I would do about 30 to 40 hertz, depending on how bassy their vocal is. For a male rapper or male singer, you want to keep some low end in there. You can always bring it back with compression, but you always want to bring a little bit of low end, some earth to the vocal. Um, for a female singer, they're not going to have a lot of information going on. If there is not information going on in your, in your frequency spectrum, get rid of it. Get rid of it. What I also would do is put just a final fruity limiter on here okay and with the fruity limiter i bring the saturation down a little bit so i'm kind of getting like a soft clip right i bring about just one db you guys can see on the top left of the screen just negative one db that's it just to give me some more character and then i'll play with this makeup game to give me some more earth but that's pretty much about it this is the basics of like a vocal chain and um, um, this is then here you want to do like your sends. So usually what, so what Leno is going to show you guys like in Pro Tools, the send vibes, I really like it. But in order to do an FL Studio, I'm not going to do it where you create a send track and everything. I like to do it all within the same mixer track. So because the beauty of FL Studio is you have these knobs right here. Man, Fruity Delay 3 is super solid. Um, um, I, I either do a quarter delay or an eight delay in my send. So I'm going to find my four, my quarter, keep it nice and simple. So, yeah, Paypon is amazing on vocals. Throw the feedback down a little bit. And then this is where I will adjust right here. This knob on the mixer where the wet and dry is, this is exactly where I'm adjusting the wet and dry. Not the wet and dry in the output of the delay, but actually right here. Because this to me is acting more like a send and this is what's actually sending it straight to the effect and what I'm getting after the effect as well. If I was messing with this, it would be the audio, how it would affect it if it's just going straight to the effect. Here, I'm affecting the output of it. So Yo, that's usually some sauce, a little mate. bit of delay. This, and these I'll keep low because then once the rapper gets in there, you want to start realizing, okay, what kind of space does he want to be in? How does it fit with the beat? After that, I throw Fruity Reverb. Fruity Reverb is actually the sauce. I fuck with Fruity Reverb a lot, Reverb 2. I really, really enjoy the Venue preset. Venue preset is great to start off with. Um, a little bit of stereo separation, like 30%, is going to give that reverb just that extra little bit of space. And the only thing you want to be playing around in this reverb is you take down the bass, bring up the damp a little bit, this is how muddy or kind of like like hidden you want your reverb to be. If you want your reverb to be more shiny, you take the damp off. If you want your reverb to be a little more cloudy, a little more foggy, you bring up the damp a little bit, right? And then the and then the decay time. It makes a difference in the way your reverb sits in the mix. It makes a difference in the way the reverb sits overall in your track. Yeah, that's pretty much my breakdown of just how I would track vocals, okay? So I'm going to save this chain for you guys. We'll keep it up. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys how we mix the vocal that we got right now as if you were a mixer and you got this as a job and your job was to mix these vocals and mix this track. This is exactly how I approach it. So, so in FL Studio, I'm going to take all of my audio, highlight it all, and then if you go to the mixer, you can go shift command L and it routes all of the audio to the mixer. No problem, ready to go. So now you can kind of start balancing, doing your mix. Maybe you like to throw a little soft clipper. Let's just do it for all the boys out there. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep my soft clipper with a higher threshold so it has more dynamics. So here we're focusing on vocals specifically. I got no patience, my shorty Jamaican, she tell me somebody. 
Now, what I actually like is that the breaths, and this is something that actually Leno taught me, um, keeping the breaths in the vocal is what gives it that realness, that real, like, this guy is just fucking spitting. Like, this guy is just going in. Like, you cannot deny. It's undeniable. So keep your breaths in where it's needed. If it's something where there's a real pause or you feel like the beat needs to speak at that moment, let the beat speak. But other than that, really make the vocals the main part of it right here. So as you can see, um, the vocals are, the waveform is pretty low. It's kind of small. So for me, the clip gain, technically, in FL Studio, there's no clip gain. So for any small waveform or anything, I actually boost it. Like how you would like an 808 or like you do the clip and you boost. I do it but for a vocal, but just very minimally, just enough to where I'm getting enough bite from the vocal to where I can start to attack it. Because knowing how you got a vocal, your engineer probably tracked it, their tra engineer, whoever, tracked it their way with their chain, with their shit, whatever, this and that, right? They kind of, they committed to some shit that they liked and they were felt happy about full-heartedly. So they're going to do that. So it's really just up to you to kind of bring that vision to life. So... Here, see how my waveform goes up a little bit? I got no patience, my shit. And I noticed that. Till I came back on my journey, the body she body. Ripping up like a Ducati. I'm just a pop. I got no patience, my shit. Just, even just by boosting the gain a little bit, we're already getting a better mix. And this is, without me touching any faders, you do, you want to touch the faders last. That is the last thing you touch. Do not touch the faders. Big facts, big facts. Yeah, dude, to touch, yeah, you, want, you want to be able to do as much gain staging as possible either in your plugins or with your audio you want to be doing as much um a gain staging as possible and i know like fl you can't do click gain so this is my workaround i know there's also this volume adjustment it doesn't affect the waveform though which is why i don't use it because you can hear it but you can't see it i'm a very visual person as well when i produce so honestly boosting this to like seven percent is sounding pretty good to me apparently you cannot go wrong with parametric eq2 once they come out with parametric eq3 i'm gonna be so happy though so, so immediately immediately first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this low end and i'm gonna cut it out piece the fuck out let me get a high pass filter and just how I did that is you just go over to the top lane of the low end right here, low end frequency, and you can just click the top end and, and you see it has different band types, band pass, low pass, high pass. So you want the high pass. I'll make this a little more, I'll make this bandwidth a little more bigger, frequency a little more sharper. And I'm just trying to get rid of just any unnecessary low end. He is a male and he does have some cool low end warmness to his voice I came back on my so i'm still going to keep everything probably around like 70 or 80 hertz you know but anything below 40 gotta go next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find my low mid um um resonant Till I came back on my journey, your body, she body, ripping up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me Sabali. Here's your found about 310 Till I came back for this on one. My journey, your body, she and I would bring it down just a little bit. Since we're not doing dynamic EQ, we're just doing a regular EQ. Do not bring this down all the way. Just bring it enough to where that shit body, is not there anymore. Ripping up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no Gonna find my like my mid, my resonant mid. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, ripping up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy, I got no patience, my shorty. Right, and that's going down. Goodbye. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, ripping up like a Ducati. Honestly, this process is so fun for me to be completely honest with you guys. Um, uh, here around the five is actually where I would start to do a little boost. So I would make the Q a little smaller, and guys, how I'm doing that is just with my scroll wheel. You know, you can use your scroll wheel, do all this stuff. Be careful. So, I'm using my scroll wheel just to make the cue a little sharper. I'm going to find, uh, now, you can do either one of two things. For this guy, I might brighten him up a little bit around the 2K, because 2K might sound really nice. 
I'll do a little bit more of a wider cue. Then I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. It's not exactly telephone, but it's just that nice, like, bite. Then I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to It's about 2002. 2002 frequency hertz. It sounded pretty good. And um, uh, I'm going to teach you guys this. I learned... I've learned this um, uh, from some mixing engineers, and it's a problem. Around 25K, for some reason, it's a bad frequency. 2.5K. 2. 2. It's a bad, 2,500K is a bad frequency, for, especially for vocals. It's it's not, it's, you want to take that 25, and you just want to tame it just a little bit, just like that, just enough below the cue. I came back on my and trust body, me, body, body. it's gonna sound better in the mix. This is just one of those subtle things that I've noticed works a lot. And then here, man, I'm gonna boost the high end, man. Um, when you're boosting high end for vocals, around um, anywhere from 5k and up is pretty good. Actually, I like to do around 8 to 10k. Um, when um, Leno came through to the studio on the Manly, they even have like a 12k boost on the Mag EQ that I use a lot. I, there is a 40k boost. So obviously there's a lot of high end up there that you can use to brighten. It's all dependent on the vocal, but 10K is a good place to start. Then if you feel like it's not bright enough, bring it back. Then I came back on my journey, your like this. Then I came back on my journey, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas Thomas from Houston to Brooklyn. So the eight was sounding pretty good. Back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas Thomas from Houston to Brooklyn to Compton. So about eight thousand, and that's pretty good. This is pretty much where I would start with here. Next thing I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna do a second EQ. But this is literally color. This is all color. So now I'm just gonna add the colors that I like. Then I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I like my 12k. I love anything around 1200 is really then nice I came for back me. On my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. And then maybe I'll boost this high end, see if it's helping me out a little more. Then I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, nah, revving up like a Ducati. A little back. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience, my shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body, patience you copied, I borrowed and show niggas time. We still got a pretty big resonance, as you guys can see, there's a lot of activity going on around here, maybe bring that down. I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati, I'm just a poppy, I got no patience, my shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body, patience you copied. And then after that, we're going to do our compression, I'm going to do actually the fruity limiter. Hatcher is just the secret FL gem, man, it is a but ton of plugins in one you can make your own chains and stuff but here they have a bunch of amazing um like they have some one knob stuff they have like a channel a vocal channel strip they have some distortion plugins they have amps a bunch of cool stuff here they actually have some pretty decent like vocal stuff you know what i'm saying so here i'm going to find my intelligent de or light and i'm going to start de my vocal a little bit and this is here without me having to use a de -er, without having to like go search for anything crazy. I pull this up. And what's cool about this is it has, you can find the frequency. You choose, you find the frequency that you want to DS. You can inspect it. You can find that, yes, that you don't want. Like this. Ow! You know? Like this shit is big. You can turn the sensitivity up. And I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas Thomas from Houston to Brooklyn to Compton. So as you can see, it made a very drastic difference. I would definitely play with the sensitivity around to find the flavor that you like, but. For F for DS and an FL, honestly, this is the way to go. Um, other than that, uh, Maximus has a good DS or preset, but this is just really solid. And if you really want to know how it works, you can check out the map. But can you do this? I can't do this yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm we're we're getting, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know where to start with this thing, man. But this is what the this is what it is. So. <laughs> Then I came back on my so now that we got our DSC, now we're going to get some compression in. Let's get that compression in. Let's see um, how a compressor sounds just kind of on its own. Then I came 
Till I came back on my journey of box. So what I was doing last time, we were doing a four to one. So maybe let's do a four to one. Till I came back on my journey of box. Really bring down. Let's let's compress this. Let's really compress this and see what it's gonna sound like. Bring down that twenty. Give him a nice, back on my back on my I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican. She tell me to Bali. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas Thomas from Houston to Brooklyn to Compton. Nipsey and Jay Z, my. The hard for compression is a little tough. Maybe do the medium. Till I came back on my journey, your body, she body. Revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican. She tell me to Bali. Patience, you. And you know, honestly, when I'm mixing, I play around with the threshold and the game gain a lot i play around with the threshold in the game because if 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 the vocals coming in hot i want that but i want to make sure there's dynamic to it too then i came back on my journey of so if i want less dynamic i bring down the threshold and i bring up the game then i came back on i just wanted to be compressed like straight up tight in your face then you know? i came back on my journey your body she ride it ripping up like a ducati or you could do a little bit of a lower gain but then less threshold, so there's more dynamics coming through. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy, I got no patience. My shorty and this two to one sounded showing. pretty good. Maybe we try Till to three I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy, I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to Bali. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas Thomas from Houston to Brooklyn to Compton. Nipsey and Jay Z, my prophet. This shit automatic. This beat could have powered the rocket. You know what I'm saying? So let's like. Till I came back on this my where we're at right now. I always recommend A and B and where you are. No matter if you're one EQ in or you're six EQs in, A and B your reference so you know where you're going. And if you feel like you're at a good point, stop. But if you don't feel like you're at a good point, keep on going. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. So I'm loving that in the face vibe we're getting. I'm loving that. It's really coming. It's really like coming at me. Like this is what I want. I just want bars in my face. As a consumer, I just want money and bars in my face when I'm listening to hip hop. I don't want anything else. I just want to be swept away in a fucking Rolls Royce to fucking Rick Ross's house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's where exactly I want to go. So. And I want to smoke weed oh. with them when I'm there with them too. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, after this compression, good mixing is like good mixing is not noticed, I guess. But you want the little subtleties in your mix decisions to enhance creativity, I guess. So, like, let's say it's a really impactful ad lib, you want to add a little distortion or something to make it wide, and a reverb throw or something to really add to that impact. But it doesn't. You know, you want to kind of follow the emotions of the song with your time-based effects and your color and that kind of thing, you know? 100%. The time-based effects would be anything from reverb to delay, anything that's going to require milliseconds or the tempo to, like, work. That's your time-based effects, okay? And, um, uh, you know, like, and like you said, the advantages of having the delay and everything on Ascend is that you're able to, like... Say you uh, you love this reverb, but it's too much brightness. It's too high-end. You can literally, like just eq that high end off use your reverb as an instrument yeah a hundred percent the reverb is just as much of a creative part of the song as the melody itself what i was talking about a little earlier and what d said to ping pong uh, a nice uh, a nice a four a nice quarter note and then you literally bring back the feedback and just dial it in right here Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy, I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. So now you hear that. If it's still a little too loud and you got that like big taste, now you can go into the wet knob of the delay and bring it down to really just get it sitting perfect. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican. She tell me to body. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show niggas. This tone is giving me more of a higher end on the reverb. It's like a little EQ. Till I came back on my Johnny, your body, she body. Revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy. I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican. She tell me to body. Patience, you copied. I borrowed and show I always sometimes for my delays, um, put in a little bit of like a filter on it will actually make it stand out a lot. You know, um, um, having a delay that sounds just like the vocal just sounds like he's just saying it twice. Having a little bit of a delay and a cutoff, like a high-pass like high filter on the top or a low-pass filter on the top is really going to give it that 
distinctiveness that makes it an ad lib almost. Facts. Yeah. Till I came back on my journey, your body she body, revving up like a Ducati. I'm just a poppy, I got no patience. My shorty Jamaican, she tell me to body. Patience, you copied, I borrowed it. Show niggas Thomas, from me spin a book in the Compton. You're seeing Jay Z, my profits, this shit automatic. This beat could have powered the rocket. Now, honestly, that's it. Like, if it was kind of the same thing I did for my tracking chain, I, I kind of did for mixing. I, I didn't want to go too crazy, and I'm not using like um, any crazy plugins. I really wanted to show you guys how good of a vocal you can get with the basic shit.